Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the H vendor which is ported from Galaxy S20 for our Galaxy J2016 which can be used to flash AB ARM64 GSIs uh, which is based on Android 10 just like I have this Havoc 3.6 running fully smooth and stable. So without wasting more time, let's quickly take a look at this. So guys, I have the official Havoc OS GSI installed. Let's go to about phone here into Android 10. You can see Android version 10, have a OS version 3.6. It has a June 5, 2020 security badge and the kernel is Edge kernel. Now let's go to the Treble Check app. I have this app installed. And here you can see uh, the Treble and VNDK full support is there. System and root is present because of the Edge vendor and it has turned your device into an AB partition system device and architecture ARM64. Seamless, seamless upgrades unsupported, of course. So what this means, what the H vendor does is it will enable you to flash AV partition GSIs, ARM64 GSIs to your Galaxy J7 2016 other 7870 devices. Now I have the J7 2016, so I'm just showing this device. So this means your device will become future proof. Now the future devices are just going to be system as root and AV partitioned because it's really easy to flash new updates push treble updates and yeah because of treble it's really easy to flash new updates also the google play system update thing is going to be implemented with r it has been implemented with q but it will work great with r so uh, that are all the things and this will make your device flash all the new gsis with some fixes and yes it will at least boot like android r gsi is still currently in development so the stable version you can even boot the android r stable version then after the release of course so yeah this day makes your device future proof and you can flash any other gsis with some fixes if the developer is really uh in there active and handy but yeah there are only some stuff and then you can flash the latest version from google and that is really really awesome so thanks for this awesome edge vendor port also this ported from the galaxy s20 legendary galaxy samsung device and that's really nice we are really lucky the Exynos 7870 community has been blessed with so many awesome developers. So thank you to all of them. And yep, that is it uh, for this uh, one. Let's move to the installation. You can flash any GSIs. I will make a proper video on uh, like some of the GSIs which you should install. Now this is the Havoc OS GSI. I'll surely make a separate Havoc OS video, but maybe next month with the July patch. Now I'll just show you uh, the normal features you can see this is Havoc OS it has a lot of features under the configuration center you can tweak in and a lot of lot of stuff then yeah the theming and all is also present so yeah maybe the next year next month it will have some more improvements then I will show you the next month GSI too so now that uh, so for now let's go to the installation for the H vendor and let me show you how to flash GSIs go to recovery and you can even power off your device and press the volume up, the home button and the power button the boot into recovery. So guys, I'm using the Skyhawk recovery project or the SHRP and you have to use either SHRP or Orange Fox recovery which is recommended by the developer and if you flash using TWRP, like someone asked, so I just tried it just for some fun because this is a rested device. It will format your internal storage, nothing else. So you have to, uh, like it gets resetted. So yeah, just in case if you wondered, what happens so yeah just use this recoveries and just follow the procedure so first is advanced wipe away catch system vendor and data that's it done go back flash if you have flashed anand's x project x uh, project spaghet x then you have already flashed this create vendor zip then you don't have to flash it again now just in case if I flash it again, it will show a message like this. There is nothing to patch. You can flash GSI and vendor. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Flash the GSI to system image. Don't flash to, to any other partition or you may break your device and then you have to flash it again. And yeah, if the recovery partition is present, you can just do it quickly. Now it is being flashed. It may take about a one minute. So just wait. And yeah, it won't. So flip. guys, the GSI has been flashed. You can see it's successful image flashed. And you can see this uh, small error. It's related to SHRP about the system as root. So yeah, no worries. Uh, now just flash the H vendor. You can see the H vendor zip. And flash. Now this will take about some like 10 seconds. Just a vendor like 200 MB vendor. 
can see it's extracting the common files it will detect your device you can see it has detected j710 and you can see still the same error it's related with the shrp recovery so no need to worry about that now uh, that's it you have flashed everything and if you want to flash g apps you can see i have the open g apps nano so you have to choose nano or pico the higher choose it will fail and even if you like resize it will not make a proper uh, uh size which is been accumulated by the g apps so yeah choose the real lowest one with i have the nano one uh, now you have to go to wipe again advanced wipe go to system uh, check here and change and you will uh, uh, you may get here resize option uh, wait 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 first let's go to mount cache vendor it's mounted okay properly mounted let's go again system uh, you don't get the resize option here okay don't worry uh, just reboot back to the recovery and you will get it okay guys just rebooted now you have to do is go to mount and you have to disable this mount system partition read only now go back to wipe advanced wipe uh, let's go oh sorry system what am i selecting okay just uh, click press on this icon if you're using shrp or else you will get the option to resize and here you can see resize okay resize system partition yes and it will pass if it fails just reboot back again to recovery and do it it will pass go back flash g apps if you flash it directly the g apps then they will just fail by saying the uh, space there is no space free space so it's gathering let me show you it gets installed successfully and yeah it's installing the core g app so it will get installed because so, as you can see the g apps have been installed and just press the tick button reboot and reboot and yeah now you can enjoy Havoc OS or any other OS on your Galaxy J716 with system as root and AB partition. So that's it and I hope you guys like this video and if you have already liked this video, press the like button or the dislike button. It depends on your choice, how you like the video and about the feedback. So yeah, that's a kind of feedback for me. Also, please post your written feedback in the comment section and that's it. Bye-bye. Uh, I'll bring you a lot of more videos on this J716. It's been a long time. I have made a video on this one. So, yeah. Bye bye and see you guys soon. And please, guys, take care and be at home, be safe. And yeah, bye bye. Nothing else.